So you find yourself in the market for a new impact driver. You're a fan of Team Yellow. You're already on Team Yellow. You got the batteries. What are your options out there today that you can get for a new impact driver? Well, you could always go with old reliable, the DCF887, the DeWald XR Impact. It's a little long in the tooth, about six years old right now. They're supposed to be replacing it later this year, but it's stood the test of time. You know it's gonna be a good impact. You don't like that? You don't like old reliable? How about new and flashy? You wanna go new and flashy? We got the DCF850, the new atomic impact driver available over at Home Depot and a few other places. You can get that one. It's just as powerful. We even showed it's a little bit faster in our testing, but it's a little bit less expensive. You can get it in some good deals right now. You can get free power stack battery with it. It's right there. Now, what if you don't wanna be trendy? What if you don't like old reliable? Is there another option for you? That's where we come in with the DCF 840. This little sleeper impact is supposedly packing quite a serious punch, maybe even topping its two bigger brothers in terms of power and speed, even though the specs don't show it. So do you want the sleeper impact? Let's find that out today on Tinker With Tools. So over the last year, it's been a big year for DeWald Impacts. They've always had a few different tiers of impacts and always at the top has been that DCF887, the DeWald XR Impact. We reviewed, we reviewed that earlier this year on, on this channel and we saw that it still holds its own and still has something to show for it. So if you can get that one on a good deal, you're by no means scraping the bottom of the barrel with that impact. It's tried and true, three speed selector, nice solid impact. Then over at Home Depot, they announced and released that new DeWalt Atomic, which has a three-speed selector just like the XR. It actually has the same specs on paper as the XR. And in our testing, we actually saw that it was right there with the XR, trading blows on some tests, but ultimately finishing better in the gauntlet. So you have those two impacts kind of battling it back and forth. One with the Atomic line seems more like an XR competitor, even though we're going to be getting a new XR later this year. So then you have the DCF 840. It replaced the old 787 over at Lowe's, which was just a simple brushless model, had 1,500 inch pounds of torque, kind of mediocre specs. This new one still doesn't have a three speed selector, but it does have a great variable trigger, and it does have nearly as much power, speed, and impacts as those bigger brother impacts. So what can it do and how can it keep up? Let's find that out today. All right, so first test, we are just gonna be driving three, three and a half inch deck screws here into a pressure treated four by four. On mark, set, go. Certainly plenty quick enough, has decent power, does a really good job at that test. Okay, now next test, we are gonna be running the three quarter inch speed bore bit down into the pressure treated four by four. Ready, set, go. Just as a point, as I was trying to get it out, it actually did let go and drop the bit. That's not something I've had to happen with either of the bigger impacts. Not necessarily uncommon for impacts to do something like that with these, but I just wanted to make it clear that that did actually happen. All right, now comparing weights, we're gonna start first with the 887. And I'm doing no batteries just because that way it's kind of the most fair, just to let you know the tool. Obviously you can use any of these batteries. That one comes in at two pounds, 1.3 ounces. The Atomic, get it to balance on the scale. Two pounds, 2.10 ounces and the new 840, or newer I should say. The sleeper, one pound, 15.66 ounces. So it is actually the lightest of the three, even though it is not the smallest, really kind of comes in when you're talking about how, 
how big it is around up there, that it actually is one of the smaller ones. And so because of that, it actually does feel smaller in your hand. And when you're using it, it does feel lighter. All right, the gauntlet for the DCF 840 in three, two, one, go. And I cannot get that out. That has like jammed and fused itself in there. As I mentioned, we were having trouble with this earlier. And it finally came out. We're going to try that one more time. Ready, set, go. Still does not want to come out. Finally came out. time. All right, so we just finished running those tests. There's obviously plenty to talk about. We'll address some of the negative things that we just saw, but let's start with the good. On those bigger lag screws, it actually felt as strong as the bigger impacts, or I should say the, the more powerful impacts on those big lag screws. Felt great on those. Um, some of the other tasks though, it was a little perplexing. We had the first um, bit drop the, that I've seen in a DeWald impact. It actually fell out when I was doing the Irwin speed bore. And then we actually had a jam in there two different times with that half inch bit, um, just a regular hex bit. And I've actually checked it in other uh, DeWald impacts. I've checked it in other impacts and it releases just fine. So I don't know what's going on with this one in particular. Um, I will say we did get a little bit of a smell from it, which I think is a little odd. It hadn't done that before and it actually smells fine now, but there was just a little bit of something when we were really working on those. Well, I shouldn't even say when we were really working on it, when we were drilling those half inch holes, which is a less demanding task than when we were doing the three quarter inch hole before. So I just don't really get why it was acting up there. Now, it did pretty good on the rest of the test. I'll have the final time before you see this. Um, from my preliminary kind of just look at the stopwatch, um, it was about a minute. Now, there were a couple seconds there because I forgot to bring the bit over from the other side. So take a couple seconds off for, for good measure. But the, the thing that really killed it was that bit jam. Had that bit not jammed in there, I think you're really talking about a 50 second time, uh, potentially even a little bit faster. And that really puts it into some, some really fast territory. And so when it comes down to it, is this a sleeper impact? Yes, I think it is. It certainly doesn't have the flash of, of the XR or the Atomic. It's not going to carry as big of a uh, reputation, I guess you could say. But it's every bit as powerful, it feels like, when you're using it. It actually even feels smaller than the other two, which is crazy to say when we're talking about the Atomic. But it actually does feel lighter than the Atomic. It does feel smaller, it runs really well. And when you pair it with that power stack battery, you're getting the power of a much bigger battery, but keeping that size nice and small. Um, there's a lot to like there. I just, that, that call it stuff that we experienced tonight, that's a little bit strange to me. I'm not really sure how to process that. 
So why don't you guys let me know down in the comments, have you experienced any call-up problems with any of your DeWald impacts, but more specifically, if you've had any problems with the 840, let me know down below and let me know if that's something that's a recurring thing or if I've just got something going on with this one in particular. So there you have it, the DCF 840, the sleeper DeWald impact, one that you can pick up usually on a really good deal around $99 when it drops on the sales. It's about 150 now with two batteries, a charger and the impact. I think that's a great deal. It's a great way to pick up and get into the DeWalt platform, or even if you're already in the DeWalt platform, to upgrade on a previously previous tool that you own or an older tool. So thanks for watching Tinker with Tools. If you like what you saw, go ahead and let us know with a like button. If you don't like what you saw, let us know that too, so we can always be sure what's going to resonate with you and what's not. And then go ahead and leave a comment if you have any questions that I didn't address here. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to keep seeing good content. So thanks again for watching Tinker with Tools.